What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the sneakers releasing in June. Some are heat, some are hype, and some are just whack. So go ahead, grab a snack, relax, and let's go ahead and get started. So starting off with June 1st, coming in with some heat or hype, we have the Air Fur of God 1 in this spruce colorway and this pulse colorway. Now I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. The Air Fear of God one is one of my favorite sneakers to release this year. Both colorways have been dumb fire so far, but with these right here, the colorways, I'm just really not feeling. Let's start off with the orange. First things first, the thing is just super bright. I mean, you have to have the perfect fit to wear these. And same goes with that green colorway. I just don't see either of these colorways being easy to wear. I just don't see why they went with these two colorways. In my opinion, I think if they went with like midnight blue or a dark forest green, I think that would have been much better. Either way, these are still gonna sell out. They are releasing on sneakers. June 1st, like I said, it is going to be a draw. Best of luck if you're trying to cop these. I mean, I've tried multiple times. I've tried multiple sneakers on sneakers and I just fail every time. Maybe it's time to get a new account. I don't know. I just feel like I haven't caught a W in a minute. I mean, let me know if you guys feel the same way. The last W I took was on the Witherspoons or the Off-Whites, one or the other, but it was a while ago. And retail for these is going for that hefty price point of $350. So best of luck if you're trying to cop these. I'm probably going to try and go after the orange colorway but we'll see what happens. Next up, Nike is releasing a collaboration with three NBA players. You have Devin Booker, Darian Fox, and Jason Tatum. So let's talk about Darian Fox's Air Max One. Now, when you think of a collaboration with an NBA player, you don't think it's gonna be that much you know, of a hot sneaker, but this one right here, very, very, very fire. So as you can see, it has some mismatched colors. You have some light blues, some reds, orange on the other shoe with some blue, some pink in there, and the black pulls it all together. Now, Devin Booker has an Air Force One. This one is a really clean, simple sneaker. You have that mint blue upper with some gray along the eyelids and a white midsole. Then you have Jason Tatum's Air Max 97. This one, I'm just not feeling out of the three. Now the upper's cool with that black and red, but the one thing that kills me is that like scribble scrabble drawing on the upper, it's just, I don't know, it just kind of messes up the sneaker for me, it's not as clean. If it didn't have that scribble and it was all white, I think it would have been so much better. Now overall, these aren't bad at all, these are pretty nice. I mean, besides the Jason Tatum, those are the only ones I'm not feeling, but the Darian Foxes and the Devin Bookers, I definitely would pick those up if you are a fan of either of those players. Release date is June 1st, and these are a House of Hoops exclusive. Next up, we have the Adidas Continental 80. This one celebrates Pride Month. Now, as you can see, it has rainbow features along with the tongue on the Adidas logo and on the side of the sneaker. This one's cool. Personally, it's not for me. I don't think I can see myself wearing these. The Continental is a clean sneaker, but that rainbow hit, it's just not for me. I don't care what you like, what you do. It's none of my business. These just don't float my boat. I just think it's cool how Adidas is uh, embracing that LBGT community. So shout out to them. These are releasing on the first and they're retailing for 80 bucks. So not bad at all. Next up, we have the Yeezy V2 700 Vanta. Now I do like the 700. It's one of the better models, the V2s. But the all black colorway, it's just not for me. I think I have one pair of black sneakers, that's the 500s, and I found them kind of hard to wear. I just don't like how they look on feet. I mean, at first, when they first came out, I did like them, but after a while, it's just super boring. Now, you could make the argument that Yeezys are dead. I would make that argument for the 350 V2s. But for the 700s, they're still fairly new, so I don't think they're dead at all. I don't think the 350s are dead either, but people just assume that. I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think any Yeezys are dead. It's just if you like them, cop them. If you don't, don't cop them. It's that simple. This is not a sneaker that I see selling out super quick. Now, these are releasing June 6th, $300 for the price point again. So if you like them, go ahead and cop them. Next up, we had the Nike and Undercover Daybreak collaboration. Now, this is a model that you have to get used to. Not everyone is gonna love it at first sight. It comes in two colorways. You have that blue and then you have that yellow. The yellow one is personally my favorite. If I had to go after one, it's gonna be that one. So these are set to release June 7th. Price point isn't available yet, but I'm sure these will go for about 150 to 200 range but then again these are a collaboration so don't be surprised if you see a higher price point now next up we have a yeezy v2 and this black colorway 
Finally, a color we have all been wanting. Ever since the Pirate Blacks, we've been wanting a colorway kind of like that, and this is our answer. Now, I do think these are releasing in two different variations. You have the 3M version and the regular version. To be honest, I don't really care which one I get. I mean, yeah, I would prefer the 3M version, but I'll be happy with either one. I don't really care. Super simple, all black with the red stitching on the back. Definitely one of my favorites releasing this month. Now, these are releasing in adults, kids, and infants. Adults is releasing for 220, which I was thinking like 300, but 220 is fair. Kids is going to be for $180 and infants is going to be 160. So, I mean, it's still kind of hefty, kind of up there for kids and infants, but I mean, it's easy. What do you expect? Now, I do expect these to sell out fairly quick. So, if you're on your A game that morning, then you should be good to go. Again, these are releasing on the 7th for $220. So get your fingers ready, do some warm ups, and you should be able to cop these. Next up, surprise, surprise, we have another Yeezy 700 V2 in this te Terfa, Tefra colorway. Now I'm telling you, June is like Yeezy overload. Shut the fuck up, I will laser you. Especially the 700 V2. These release June 15th for $300. Now, it could be me, but these remind me a lot of the geodes. I don't know, for me, this is a colorway that I'm really not feeling, and I feel like it'll be kind of like difficult to wear. I mean, you can pull it off, but still, it's gonna be, it's like an odd colorway. It has some like tans, some grays. You have the um, gum outsole. It's just, I don't know, it's just weird. I mean, the model is already dad vibes, but I mean, with the colorway, it's like super dad vibes. For me, it's just a no-go, but for you, if you do like them, June 15th, $300. Get it. Now, if you don't know, Toy Story 4 is releasing soon. And if you don't like Toy Story, but in all seriousness, Adidas is doing a collaboration with Toy Story for the premiere of this movie. So this is an ultra boost on the front of the sneaker. You got them woody color vibes. And then on the back, you have some buzz vibes. So you got some woody and buzz meshed together in this sneaker. On the tongue, you have Toy Story 4. I wish it was just like a plain Adidas logo and they had a Toy Story branding like on the insole or something. But I mean, it's a little, you know, I'm nitpicking, I'm nitpicking. Now this might be the first Ultra Boost I've seen with a gun bottom. I mean, I'm, I could be wrong. There's probably some out there, but this is the first one I've seen. And I definitely think it looks cool on this model. Next up, we have another Yeezy releasing on the 22nd. And that is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 in this Antia and Taya colorway. Looks similar to the Butter colorway, but let's just move on from that. I mean, it's a V2. It's like that piss yellow colorway. I'm not feeling it. It just it reminds me of the Butters too much or the um, McChickens. Those definitely, they look exactly like. But anyway, 22nd, $220 price point. If you like them, cop them. For me, I'm just over it. I'm over the V2s, like the colorways they're releasing. You have an amazing sneaker. Go ahead and release some fire colorways. What's up with these colorways that look so similar to the others? I just don't understand it. It just pisses me off. Let's just go ahead and move on. Next up, we have some off-white sneakers, which I'm sure a lot of people are hyped about. We have the off-white Nike Kyger 5s. Now, these are releasing June 27th, and there is three different colorways. You have one with a black upper, pink, and blue outsole. You have one that's white with a green outsole, green laces, and then you have a whole lime green upper, which just lime green outsole, blue midsole. The shoe is basically lime green. To me, the two lime green colorways look like a Nickelodeon shoe with the green and orange, but they're still very clean and I'd definitely like to get my hands on a pair. Now it's an off-white, so it's gonna be hyped, but I don't know if a lot of people are actually feeling these because of the outsole. It has like a spiky outsole, which is, you know, it's different, but it's kind of cool. Hopefully I can get lucky on these. Hopefully you can too, take that W for people who actually wanna wear these. These are releasing the 27th, $180 price point, which isn't bad. It's, you know, it's fair. I think the whole silhouette is really dope. It's going to look dope on feet. Next up, we have yet another Yeezy. Uh, I'm tired of seeing Yeezy in this video. Anyway, these are the Yeezy 700 Utility Blacks. Black upper, um, gum midsole. It's that simple. Nothing really comes close to the uh, Wave Runners. They need to release another colorway like that so people can get their hands on a pair. This one, I mean, it's simple. It's cool. I'd like to have it. i definitely wear it, but... It's just not something that's on my radar and I don't really care if I get it. Now, I don't understand why they're releasing so many Yeezys this month. Like, I just do not get it whatsoever. But it is what it is. June 29th, $300. You know the deal. 
let's go ahead and move on to the last sneaker. Next up, we have a pair of Air Max 720s, Gilbert Baker's Rainbow Flag. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a guess. This is another pride shoe. I do want a pair of Air Max 720s, definitely not this colorway but I don't want to pay $180 for them. So if I can find a pair for a steal, I definitely want to do that. But this one, we got to talk about this one right here. This is just a rainbow colorway. You have some reds, greens, oranges, blues, purples, all up on the upper with a translucent air bubble. Now I'm not gonna lie, it's a fire sneaker. I can definitely see myself wearing these with like a plain fit, but I just don't think I'm gonna cop this to be real with you guys. I mean, I think it's a really cool sneaker. I really like how they're supporting the LB. GT community, I think a lot of people were buy these, but for me, myself, I'm just not gonna rock them. So it's a no for me, but they are a hot sneaker. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let me know what sneakers you're copying the month of June. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you for watching, for watching up to this point, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.